People have asked how and why they should switch their entire email system away from something that is software driven such as Microsoft Outlook or the Mail app on the Mac over to something like Gmail. The advantages of doing it in Gmail is that all your contacts and connections can remain in one place that all your social networks can get to. In addition, you don't have all the downloads and the software storage on your own computer. So to get started, I'm looking at the control panel for my domain name and I'm going into email accounts and you can go through your own process of finding that. I'm just giving you a peek at mine. So I want to set up a place that people can quickly go in and email me any kind of questions that they may have and create my account. The next step that you'll need to go through is go back to the dashboard and you want to find a way to forward all of that information even before we start using this account. We're going to figure out how to forward all of it to our Gmail profile. So we'll go to forwarders and I want to add in a forwarder and I want to forward anything that comes in as question to my Gmail address add forwarder. So now by default any mail that I get to that address will go to my Gmail inbox. The next step that you need to do, go back to the home, is to find your exact structure of your username. So while the username might be saying something like question, we still need to see the exact way that that address is displayed so that we can put the username into our Gmail settings. Browse to find this information configure your email client. Click on more and then configure email client if you're using a panel similar to mine. So you'll see here is the list of software applications. So if you need to actually configure the software version, which is what we're not doing, here's how to do that. But also you see that near the bottom it says manual settings. This is how you find out what your exact username is as well as any other port numbers and information along those lines. So I've gone over to my Gmail and I've gone to settings in the top right corner and then I've gone to accounts and import and notice that at the top this is where you can import all of your address book so if you want to get your software address book exported you'll look for a way to export that information as a comma separated value or a CSV see an earlier video that I made about that and then you'll be able to see all of the places that you're currently sending and receiving mail as this is going to be a quick way to do this for any type of account that you may have already in and created so it's just a faster way of doing it. Um, the difference though between this version and this check using POP3, the POP3 option will hide any traces of your Gmail account whereas the other ones might show that information. So just be aware of that. Notice too that you can pick which one you want to be the default that you're sending mail as and you can tell Gmail I want you to be smart enough to always send and receive from whichever address it was sent to and or I want you to just by default always pick the primary address that I want. So that's up to you. And uh, where it says check using your POP3, this is where we go in and add that new account that we just created. So I'm going to add a POP3 email account and put in the address that you want to use. Hit next step. Notice the username thinks it's the same as just whatever comes before the at symbol. On some cases that may be true. The rest of the information you want to put in your password, your domain name, server, all of that. By default, most of these are going to say port 110 and that's fine. I'm going to leave a copy on the server just in case. So that means don't just put everything into my own system, but also put it out on the server as well. Finally, it asks, do you want to send and receive email as this account on this connected to this Gmail? You could say yes a few times. And it asks, do you want to send it through Gmail? We'll say yes. Send the verification code and then go check your email inbox. Notice that you might need to go to all mail to find this information. Click to confirm that email. You'll now be able to go to compose a message 
and then select the email address that you want it to appear as when you are sending a message. By default, we did change our settings so that any mail sent to us can be sent and received by whatever address. So Gmail will know what address it was sent to and respond as if it is from that location. So good reasons to get into Gmail. Do be careful, though, when bringing your entire address book in, if there are those that you wish to no longer maintain contact with. Possibly don't bring them in. In light of Google Buzz connecting and searching through those contacts, you might want to consider which contacts you do have in your Gmail inbox. I personally have no problems with it. Some people may. Just think it through before you make the switch, but I really enjoy using Gmail as my primary email system. Only experienced four outages in the past, I believe, three or four years. So overall, great way to get the information off of my own software and just all straight onto the web.